We are now just four days away from the deadline for lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to avoid a government shutdown. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Ken Watlington. And I'm Angie Casada. Well, the threat of another government shutdown looming, Congress is working to prevent this from happening. Now to your side's Claire Curry joins us live tonight from our Jacksonville studio. Claire, you spoke with two congressmen from the East about this today. Ken, Angie, the temporary measure Congress passed back in September to avoid a government shutdown will expire on Friday. That leaves only a small window to figure out what to do next. I have no desire whatsoever for a government shutdown to occur, none whatsoever. And I want to do everything I can within reason uh, to avoid it. Both Republican Congressman Greg Murphy and Democratic Congressman Don Davis are pushing for a continuing resolution to prevent a shutdown. There's no way we'll be able to get done with the work that's ahead of us without an extension. Um, so an extension is critical for the American people right now. Although Murphy says he feels they need to start taking financial responsibility and stop pushing the problems off further down the road. It's all caused. I, I think, and I'll have to say this again with members of my own side that uh, are starting from no from everything rather than trying to be a yes and try to, if they, if they have disagreements, working downward. But due to the implications it could cause those who live in eastern North Carolina and across the country, both say it's necessary. If we were to shut down, uh, we could definitely feel the effect with our children, uh, with women in particular, our seniors who rely on meals on wheels, our military and their families uh, who would work. Uh, but not get paid and still have those obligations of putting food on the table, child care, and all those uh, things to run a household. Putting pressure on newly elected Speaker Mike Johnson to get something done quickly. I put the, the Speaker in a difficult position and uh, I don't want to uh, pull the cart, pull the legs out from under him just in the first few weeks. Now, Speaker Johnson proposed a stopgap measure to temporarily fund the government needing two-thirds majority to pass the House. It will also need to pass the Senate and be signed by President Biden in order to avert a shutdown. In our Jacksonville studio, Claire Curry, 9 on your side. Claire, thank you.